In episode five, we're going to go over our virtual tours. This is going to give you quick access to points of interest in and around Wofford City. It includes attractions, details, location, images, videos, 360 imagery. Again, as a reminder, on our homepage, you can access the virtual tours in different areas. In the upper right-hand corner, you will see the virtual tours in the orange background. Click on that, and that'll take you to virtual tours. In the Experience Wofford City mobile app, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see the orange button. Click on that, and that will take you to virtual tours. Once you get into virtual tours, there are three worlds to tour. Explore Tobacco Gardens, Explore Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and Explore Wofford City. In this example, I'm going to go through Tobacco Gardens. In Tobacco Gardens, it's going to pull up a map. In this map, there's only three dots or beacons is what we call them, dots or attractions. You will see them in and around the Tobacco Gardens area. Once you hover over the dot, the name of the attraction will appear. By clicking on the attraction, more information will come up. Scroll through the tabs at the top of each beacon card to view descriptions, website links, videos, images, and or interactive 360-degree tours. Click the Places button at the bottom of the map to view all beacons and filter by category. So once you click on the Follow section, it'll take you to the augmented reality navigation with the Yonder Me. This is a really unique point of the virtual tours. Using your mobile device, make sure you click on the HTTP that's noted on this page. For instance, on this one, it's the HTTPS Yonder Me Tobacco Gardens. Once you've clicked on that, you will be able to navigate via 2D maps or go into a 3D augmented reality with your phone's camera. This is very similar to Pokemon Go. Using your phone, you will be able to see a point or beacon off in the future, and you can make your way to it. You'll be able to privately share with people in your group or family and friends where you are at. In this instance, you could be up at Burnt Hills and your family and friends could be down at the resort or at the marina. You've asked them to come up to Burnt Hills, you will be able to see how they're making their way up to Burnt Hills and when to expect them. You'll be able to visit points of interest to unlock prizes, trophy points, and more. This is one tool that we do use on and off within virtual tours to get our guests that are visiting Wofford City and the surrounding area active into the community. Kind of encourage them to go check out an attraction. The really cool thing about this, there's no account signup needed, no apps to download. You just click on the link and go. This concludes McKinsey County Tourism Hospitality Training Program. It is our hope that you can now answer the question when someone says there's nothing to do. There's so much to see and do in Wofford City and McKenzie County. Let's see what you learned.